Like damn, she need her move. 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 She lit, got money too. Like damn, she need her move. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. And you packing out nobody's pants. He a rapper, but don't got a chance. What's up, pretty mommy? Welcome back to another video and another segment of Asking Essie Girl Talk. We're gonna have some nice girl talk today. Very much needed on my end. I don't know about you guys, but I've been needing a little girl talk with my girls. So welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to press that bell so you're alerted anytime and every time that I post a new video. If you are not new here, welcome back to the girls. Thank you for staying tuned and always tuning in to the channel. So if you are new here, Asking Essie slash Girl Talk is basically something, a little segment that I wanted to start. Um, that I wanted to start last year and as you guys can see, it's been a while. So I do have a different scenery. There's a difference in the background. Obviously, I have moved, relocated and just enjoying the time and the new the new atmosphere the new environment the new scenery i'm enjoying all of it but asking essie is a segment that i started last year and i've done about two or three videos on this i kind of stopped when i did the big move the last time i posted was about four months ago which was exactly right before i moved so it's been four months without a little girl talk and i feel like we need and deserve one okay so asking essie i feel like a lot of people are confused when i do ask on my social media for people to give me you know um topics that you guys may want to hear my opinion on when i say give me topics i feel like people think that i'm asking for q a's and a lot of people do insert personal questions for me which i don't mind answering if i'm doing a q a however this is not a q a this is a segment that i started last year where i like to do girl talk with the girls and have just basically like general topics that we can go and bounce off of each other in the comments and that you guys may want to hear my opinion about i know a lot of the very um very popular topics were well last year through the times in my life that i was at the very popular topics were like co-parenting healing um uh gaining confidence that kind of stuff but i do hope to get different topics um i will touch bases on them if i absolutely keep getting those questions or those topics brought to the um, polls but i really don't want to i really want to steer away from that and talk about some other things we can talk about literally anything 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 about what's going on on social media about you know just anything that you may want my opinion on um, definitely let me know and we can get that written down for the next um, segment or upload of Asking Essie. But anyway, now that we are here and back and talking, welcome back girls. So today we are going to be doing a little segment and I do just want to say that I appreciate you guys for tuning in and subscribing and doing all the support. I feel like I've been consistently doing YouTube now for about... I want to say, well, yeah, it's been since Legacy's been born, since my daughter's been born, so four years, because I started doing YouTube when I was pregnant. I recorded my entire pregnancy, so four years, but I've been loving it. I feel like this era is my best era. This is my favorite era of me because I am very independent. I have just a, a clear vision of what I would like my platforms to be and one thing about it baby i love a rebrand which is what brings me to my first topic my first topic is basically rebranding what is rebranding is rebranding good is rebranding bad what do i feel about a rebrand so rebranding is basically just you can rebrand yourself you can rebrand your social medias you can rebrand your business you can rebrand anything okay and i love a rebrand i'm actually going through a rebrand right now if i may say so myself which is why i have a lot of questions from my customers for my small business i do have a small business called pretty mommy lashes and i have recently uh this month i believe put it on pause 
and kind of just took a step back on my small business because i am working on a lot of things that i want to add and contribute and rebrand literally the meaning of rebrand let's look up the real meaning of rebrand because i feel like i'm not telling you guys the actual meaning and you guys need the real definition basically to change the corporate image of a company or organization example the radio station has since been rebranded as 98 fm so basically better bigger and better but in my opinion it doesn't really just have to be a company it can be literally anything that you want to rebrand you can rebrand your life girl okay and um but yeah back to what i was saying i am currently rebranding my small business i'm actually rebranding my social medias my platforms in the content that i put out i rebrand on youtube with the content that i put out as well um, because you know when i when you guys when a lot of people knew me a lot more it was through a family channel where we did certain type of content i do a lot different more content here and that is a rebrand i love a rebrand um i feel like it's sane and almost needed to rebrand every once in a while and i just love it i feel like i love seeing something elevate so i love a rebrand um and i encourage you that if you've been wanting to rebrand anything about you anything business wise school wise work wise rebrand it girl you are gonna have a time when you see the bigger and better uh version of whatever it is you're rebranding our next topic is what do we think about dating while being a single parent it can be a man or a woman so again this is something that i'm speaking from experience because i am currently a single mother and um did i mention that i don't think i said single mother i said single woman or man single woman or man that is a parent um and i'm currently in that boat and i'm currently in the dating era you know so i feel like i feel like you should i feel like you should have your time i feel like you should go out there and and have some dates go out to eat you know have some fun i love the idea of dating i love getting dressed up i love going out to eat i love getting compliments that i deserve and i just love being around good vibes and good energy however i will say that i it has taken me a while to get to that point simply because uh, just inner healing that I needed to do and you know babysitting circumstances all that kind of stuff but I feel like if you really want to date and if it is in your time today because that's another thing um, me being a single parent I think with everything that I went through and all the emotions I had on on my sleeves on my heart all of that I feel like God was purposely not allowing me to date and not bringing anybody to my attention or me to anybody's attention today because i needed to do a lot of i needed to do a lot of work with him and i feel like i don't know maybe now is the time because it's it's a lot more available i'm not sure what it is but i feel like if you're a single parent why would you not date like what's what's the reason you know if there is not anything like really that you're having to work on or like something really really stopping you i mean the kids are gonna grow up and are you gonna be single forever like no we are adults we need that companionship I just feel like we're grown and these kids are not gonna be kids forever you know they have a life and they should have a life and a routine as well so you don't want to be sitting up just like although i will say this i enjoy my company i enjoy my own company i could go out to eat by myself i can go to well i haven't gone to the movies by myself but i could do that kind of stuff by myself i really really enjoy my company and feel like i learned a lot about myself in my solitude without dating and stuff like that so i don't know i mean maybe go through that first as a single parent and then date now there is some cons to a single parent dating whether it's a woman or a man is just the intentions on the person that you are dating because you do have to always factor in them kids okay like the kids really do matter and i just feel like i could not personally date somebody that has no interest in having kids or doesn't like kids or is very selfish and only wants to you know fly me out and take me here and take me there but like what about the kids are you gonna pay for my babysitter are you gonna you know like that kind of stuff but there is some cons but i would say just try it and do it um i love to get courted i love flowers i love to get treated like a real 
princess should. So I'm all for the dating as a single parent. Do it, it, it should be fun. And honestly, it brings me to my next topic. I don't know, how do you guys, I don't know the age range of my viewers and um, the girls that watch me. Like, I really don't know the age range. I know there is some young girls, but I also feel like I've seen women of my age or just grown women in their mid 20s, 20s, even 30s. Um, I'm 29, so I just feel like right now in this era, <laughs> I don't feel like I necessarily need to try the dating app. I, I'm not the dating app type of girl. Like, I feel like I could get approached in person. Uh, social media is really where I get approached the most. But I don't know. I just feel like I'm not with the dating apps. I feel like I'm not at that point in my life yet. Maybe if I feel like there's absolutely nothing in the world for me, then I will try the dating apps. But I wrote about which, uh, I mean, I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments down below. But I mean, 29 is a peaking age, definitely so, because I am definitely not the same person I was even at 27. Um, so I don't know, but I just feel like I'm not in that dating app stage right now. Like I'm not ready to go on blind dates or dating apps. Um, and I put this as a conversation or a topic because I have recently gone into or finished the entire series of Sex in the City, which I had never watched by the way. Don't judge me, but I had never watched Sex in the City till a couple days ago as a 29 year old and I feel like I appreciated it more as a 29 year old versus if I had watched it before, like back then uh, because they're in their late 20s 30s you know so um, it was just crazy to see like them going on blind dates and dating so much and seeing that like I don't know I just don't feel like I could do it with Miranda and, and Carrie were doing blind like that's insane to be like I don't know I would have so much anxiety and I just don't think I'm at that point like I'm not on that level I feel like slide into the DMs okay we're gonna talk on the DMs and hopefully hopefully it's met through in person if it's met in person then oh God has answered a prayer in the spirits of talking about dating and motherhood and you know being a single parent all that kind of stuff i did i guess want to bring this topic up just because i had seen it in my comments about myself since i do vlog everyday life and stuff like that um i feel like i i see a lot of people um having a lot of opinion on social media about a, a creator that they watch creator being me they have a lot of opinion to the point where they feel like they can say certain things about your decisions and I would love to know y'all opinion on that because this is my opinion on it like I feel like I receive a lot of um a lot of comment well not a lot but especially on my last vlog that I just uploaded I feel like I've received a lot of comments and um I don't know just a comment and, and they run with it and a lot of people like it or they'll be like yeah she does this and yeah she doesn't even and why would she move like I feel like a lot of people really try to come for the decisions that other creators make that they watch their viewers of the creators so they sit there and they're like you shouldn't have done that you should have just did this and you should have did that I feel like how do y'all feel about that like if you the viewer that comments all the time and says certain things like that instead of just like supporting oh i liked this video i liked this i like that you know it does come with social media i understand that but if you are that viewer that comments and 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 really like has something to say about another person a grown person's a decision as far as like for me i moved to a different city and i am with no family nothing around me just me and my child which I am okay with because I can go see my family whenever I want. I have made friends out here now. I decide what I want to post and not post. I'm very private about my life. But because I am not super showing of every single thing I do or showing the new friends that I've made or showing the many times that me and my family speak like I feel like people take it like she's so she's so sad she has nothing this she has nothing that she should have just stayed in California like I feel like it's unnecessary and if you are the person commenting would you 
if you were the content creator, what, how would you feel if people were doing that about your decisions? Like as a grown adult, how would you feel about that? What are your thoughts on that? And I just want to ask everybody, you know, the girls, like what are y'all opinions on that? On on all the, the commentary and the opinion that people do nowadays with content creators. Like, do y'all think that the content creators have it coming for them and like, oh, well, you want to be a content creator. Well, oh, well, you, you, we're going to talk about you and we're going to have opinions. Or do y'all feel like, yes, have opinions, but sometimes shut up. Sometimes just be a viewer because you absolutely, let me tell you guys from the in looking out you do not know every single thing about a content creator's life i promise you you do not um you don't you don't you literally get what we want to put out and that is it and a lot of times even what we do put out is misinterpreted so i just feel like i don't know i, I i'm not a fan of the super loud mouths in the comments i'm not a fan and it just it just can become a little draining that's all i'm saying so i would love to hear y'all opinion on that and know what y'all think about if you were the content creator and people were constantly commenting on your decisions like what is y'all opinion on that i would love to know because y'all know how i feel clearly by the little rant i just said but anyway brings me to the last topic i really wanted to bring this as a topic because i feel like i just wow love island i don't know if you guys watch love island at all but let's talk a little bit about it if you do if you do watch love island then stay tuned if you don't watch love island then wait till the wait till we say goodbye so basically you guys i watch love island and i just have like i'm just so and it actually has to do with the social media stuff like i don't know if you guys are aware of what happened to the contestant kendall while he was supposed to be getting his phone back after not having his phone for so many times so many months uh i think it's two months i'm not sure how many months it is but after not having your phone you come back you end the show you didn't win i mean not that i'm sure he didn't care if he won that much but you didn't really win you didn't win um you had a great time you had a great time you, you feel like you found love and then you go home and you get your phone and there is intimate videos of you being plastered all over twitter all over social media everybody's talking about it of you in a in a very intimate position and what what like i just feel like the internet is insane like i don't even know what i i don't know you guys i just feel like the internet is cruel it's a cruel place and i just don't even know i hope he's staying sane he had made like a post saying that he was um aware and thankful and that this was like a crazy way to end off his amazing summer but you know that he has to support and i really do hope that he has all of that and that he's having a great mindset and taking the high road with this and not dwelling on it because that will literally make somebody want to just end all and, and y'all don't understand like the constant bullying the constant coming at people is so cruel and i just can't imagine what he was going through or what he was feeling that's why i'm saying that i hope he really is in good spirits even with that uh based off his post that he made but i just can't even imagine like i don't even know i don't know y'all but that just goes to say you know like i love love island though i love love i i loved love island i love the winners i was hella rooting for them i was like if they don't win i love leah like definitely love leah definitely feel like they mis misunderstood her so much in the show she was very misunderstood but god is always gonna have a plan for you because i feel like she was purposely misunderstood but god had a bigger plan and now she has literally two million followers fresh off coming out of love island like sponsorships everything is about to go up for my girl and i am just so happy i love seeing an underdog go up okay but i don't know y'all that was just my little girl talk for you guys we didn't talk about so many topics but i mean i guess you guys can get the vibes and maybe send in more topics for the next segment but let me know what you guys think i actually i don't know my friend is coming in town next month so i definitely might do it asking essie with her next time and that way you guys can have two people's opinions and not just me so asking essie and justice i don't know we'll figure it out but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and our segment of asking essie i love y'all i will see you guys in the next video bye